Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will understand radian measure of an angle as the length of the arc on unit circle subtended by an angle and we shall also discuss how to convert radians into degrees and degrees into radians. Now let us start with unit circle. An unit circle is a circle whose radius is one unit and center is at origin in the coordinate plane. This is the unit circle with radius one unit and we can see that in the coordinate plane here the center of this circle is at origin and the coordinates of the center of the circle is given by 0, 0. Thus, when radius of the circle is 1 unit, that is radius r is equal to 1, then that circle is called unit circle. And now we shall discuss radian measure in a unit circle. A radian is a unit of measure of a central angle that intercepts an arc equal in length to the radius of circle. Thus, in a circle of radius 1 cm, a central angle whose measure is 1 radian intercepts an arc whose length is 1 cm In this figure, we have taken a unit circle that is, radius of this circle is taken as 1 cm and central angle is 1 radian so we see that the length of the arc is equal to the radius that is equal to 1 cm. Similarly, in a circle of radius 1 cm, a central angle of 2 radians intercepts an arc whose length is 2 cm. In this figure, we have taken a unit circle with central angle that is 2 radians. So, length of the arc subtended by this angle is 2 cm. Similarly, if we see this figure, we have taken a unit circle with central angle equal to 3 radians. So here, central angle is equal to 3 radians. So length of the arc subtended by this angle is 3 cm. Now let us see length of the arc when radius is 2 cm. In a circle of radius 2 cm, a central angle whose measure is 1 radian. Now this is the central angle of measure 1 radian. Then this angle intercepts an arc whose length is 2 cm. Similarly, a central angle of two radians will intercept an arc whose length is 4 cm. And if the central angle is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3 radians, then the length of the arc subtended by this angle is equal to 6 cm. Now let us find the general formula for finding 
radian measure of central angle. Now in this figure, if we take theta radians as angle measure, then theta will be equal to 6 upon 2 which is equal to 3 radians that is we have taken 6 that is the length of the arc and 2 which is the radius of the circle on dividing the length of the arc with the radius of the circle we got the value of theta as 3 that is we have got the value of angle measure as 3. In general we can say that the radian measure theta of central angle of a circle is the length of the intercepted arc which is given by S divided by radius of the circle which is given by R. So we can write radian measure theta is equal to length of the arc divided by radius of circle or we can also write it as theta is equal to length of the arc that is S upon radius of the circle that is given by R. So we have S upon R. From here we can also write S is equal to theta into R. For example, if angle is given by 5 radians and radius is equal to 4 centimeters, then length of the arc is given by theta into r that is s is equal to theta into r where s represents length of the arc theta is the angle measure and r is the radius of the circle which implies that s that is the length of the arc is equal to theta which is given by 5 radians into R that is radius of the circle which is given as 4 centimeters. So S is equal to 5 into 4 that is equal to 20 centimeters. Here we should note that moving in counterclockwise direction will give us positive angle and moving in clockwise direction will give us negative angle. We are now going to discuss relationship between radians and degrees. Let us draw a circle of radius R. Its center is given by O. Now we draw a diameter in this circle. Now we see that the upper portion of the circle forms a semicircle and this is the central angle whose measure is theta radian. Now let us find the length of the arc subtended by this angle that is we shall find the length of this arc which is subtended by this angle whose measure is theta radian and here we can see that the length of the arc is equal to circumference of semicircle and we know that circumference of a semicircle is given by 1 by 2 into 2 pi r that is equal to pi into r that is pi r we know that theta is given by length of arc upon radius of circle and this is equal to length of the arc is equal to pi r 
and radius of circle is given by r so we have got theta as pi r upon r which is equal to pi so we have got the value of theta as pi radians so the radian measure of central angle is given by pi radians and we know that in degree measure the central angle of the semicircle is 180 degrees that is this angle is equal to 180 degrees and we know that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians and if we multiply both sides of the equation by 2 we get 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians and this represents the angle shown here that is this complete angle represents 2 pi or 360 degrees now we are going to discuss how to convert degrees into radian measure and radians into degree measure and we'll use the relationship that is 180 degrees is equal to pi radians to convert degrees into radians and radians into degrees we have pi radians is equal to 180 degrees which implies that one radian is equal to 180 upon pi degrees let us name this equation as equation number 1 from this relationship we also get one degree is equal to pi upon 180 radians and we mark this equation as equation number 2 and we should note that angles written in radians are often in terms of pi and the term radians is omitted while writing the measure of angle in radians but we always use degrees when we write angle measure in degrees now let us convert 150 degrees in radian measure now using result from equation number 2 that is 1 degree is equal to pi upon 180 radians thus we can write 150 degrees is equal to 150 into pi upon 180 radians which implies that 150 degrees is equal to 3 into 5 is 15 and 3 into 6 is 16 so here we get 5 into pi that is 5 pi upon 6 so we say that 150 degrees is equal to 5 pi upon 6 radians now let us convert 11 pi upon 6 into degrees now using result from equation number 1 that is 1 radian is equal to 180 upon pi degrees 
Thus we can write 11 pi upon 6 as 11 pi upon 6 into 180 upon pi degrees which implies that 11 pi upon 6 is equal to 6 into 1 is 6 and 6 into 30 is 180. So we get 11 into 30 that is 330 degrees. Thus we say that 11 pi upon 6 can be written as 330 degrees. So in this session we have discussed radian measure of an angle as the length of the arc on unit circle subtended by the angle and also how to convert radians into degrees and degrees into radians. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.